What is going on guys? Dope Sonar here. I hope you all are doing alright. Hopefully I sound alright. My throat is kind of killing me. I don't know. Um, I had really bad allergies all day and I'm not sure if that's all it is or if I'm getting sick, but my throat is really scratchy. So hopefully you guys can hear me alright. But basically in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the DaVinci. Um, this is the DaVinci 1.0 3D printer. It's my 3D printer that I've had since uh, December of last year. And basically I was in the process of upgrading it to this um, Pico hot end right here. Um, as you can probably see, I've got a bunch of 3D printed kind of like add-ons and stuff like that to the actual extruder mount. Um, well, <laughs> the install didn't exactly go 100% successfully, so I'm running into some issues right now. And I decided, uh, I'll talk about that in another video, but in this video I basically um, wanted to show you guys a stripped down all of, under my jeans, but um, all the plastic parts off of this printer. I mean, this is really as bare bones as it gets. So I figured, um, just for fun, really, I'd kind of take you guys around the DaVinci and show you guys kind of what it looks like at its core. So um, right here, we have got the little LCD board that is on the front that controls the actual printer. I took that out of its little faceplate mount, and then you've got the all the different buttons left, right, up, down, I guess, select, home. Um, let me go and turn on the lights in this real quick here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Extruder bed settings. And lights. Okay, lights are on. Um, so, yeah, as you guys can see, probably, if it goes back. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's not showing it. Whatever. Oh, yeah, but it says like deaf and deaf. So, it's just not right. I'm having issues with the hot end, which I need to mess with. But, um,. So yeah, basically we've got the front of the printer, I've got the bed dropped all the way to the bottom just that way I have a lot of space to access the extruder when I mess around with it and troubleshoot it. Um, let's see, on the inside we have got belts, railings, um, we've got a stepper motor right here, we have got, let's see, what else? I'm trying to think of what is like exciting to show you guys. I, the cables are a mess, please ignore them. Um, again, I'm in the process of upgrading and so I've got like exposed solder points that I was testing to make sure that everything was working before I sealed them up with um, heat shrink tubing uh, but when this thing is back up and running I'm probably gonna upgrade let me show you guys the LED you've got I don't know how well it'll focus because they're so bright but you got LED strips right here um, I'm planning on upgrading them I don't know if I'm gonna do just brighter LEDs or if I want to like give it a color scheme with, like green or red or something like that to make the printer glow but that's just something that I, um, totally unnecessary, but I, I've got to do it. Um, <laughs> just because I like to, like, customize everything that I have. Um, but let me see, let's take a look at the back right now. I've got the board exposed. I mean, when you take all the plastic off, it kind of really shrinks down the printer. You lose about, um, two inches on each side. So, I mean, it definitely makes the printer a hell of a lot smaller. But, yeah, so on the back here... This is the board, which you guys have probably seen before because I did, um, in my video on how to flash this printer, I did take the back off of the printer. Um, you've got a little, I don't know how well you can see it, but right here behind this, you've got a little micro SD card. Um, depending on which model of the printer you have, it might be a regular full size SD card, but um, on the 1.0A, you've got a micro SD card. Well, if you flash your printer, you can actually load up that SD card with um, uh, print files and then feed it back in and uh, load them up from the menu on the printer and you don't actually need to have it hooked up to a computer to print out the uh, <clears throat> to print out the you know the files or whatever so that way if you want to have this somewhere else not hooked up to a printer you can totally do that um, I haven't done that I will say when if you're gonna remove that be careful with it I did hear that it's kind of glued on so I don't know if you'll need some kind of like a hot air wand or um, like some, some way to scrape off whatever adhesive that they use, but just be careful that you don't damage your board, obviously, when you're, you know, messing around with the board. Um, but, yeah, so that is the back of the printer. You've got the ribbon cable that feeds right up through here, and I believe this ribbon cable goes to, yeah, the ribbon cable goes all the way to the faceplate right there. Not the faceplate, but the, uh, <clears throat> but the, um, LCD board, excuse me. Um, I guess I get to show you guys a little bit. You guys have already seen the Pico in my unboxing, but you've got basically two things going on with it. You've got the thermistor right there, and you've got the actual heating element, which screws in right there, or it fits in right there. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. I, I need to 
do some testing of the cables and um, see if there's anything shorting out anything but I've just been it's been really hot and I haven't gotten around to doing it but I'd like to get it back up and running soon because I do have some projects that require me to have my um, 3d printer up and functional so you know I'm working on that but it's kind of interesting to see a 3d printer at its core I mean Oh, I need to go over my CNC machine with you guys soon here because you guys haven't seen it since it's been up and running. Um, even though I haven't done anything with it because I'm still learning how to use the G-code, I haven't had any time to study it. But uh, it's interesting because at the core, you know, it's pretty simple, the um, the 3D printer. I mean, you've got your, obviously, your user interface on the front of it right here. You've got your drive belts. Um, you've got your, you know, different stepper motors. You've got one right here. You've got one right here. So you've got, um, I guess it would be X and Y and then uh, Z is going to be uh, right here. Well, actually, that's not that's not accurate at all. I guess since on this one, the bed goes up and down, that would be the um, one that brings it up and down. But you have basically this stepper motor right here. What it does is it turns, um, it turns this wheel right here, which then turns this, and your filament would feed down through there and pushing it through um, pushing it through the hot end, which should be hooked up right there. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys another video where I kind of show you guys the Pico as I'm messing with it and talk about the issues I'm having with it. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can get that all cleared up and fixed. Worst comes to worst, after some troubleshooting, if I cannot get the Pico hot end working, I'll just put the stock hot end back in because I do still have it um, up over on my desk. Uh, but yeah, so I figured, again, I would at least show you guys uh, maybe those of you that are interested in purchasing the DaVinci printer, just like what this thing looks like at its core and what you are getting for your money. I mean, it's pretty thin sheet metal. Um, you know, it's definitely, it's pretty cheaply made, I will say. But again, for like, for the price, I, I still feel like it's fair. And it's gotten, it's definitely gotten me into the 3D printing world, if you will. It's a good stepping stone for those that don't want to spend an arm and a leg and um, you know want to kind of see what 3d printing is all about um, I definitely don't have any regrets by purchasing it you know um, especially if you're willing to flash it and you're able to use whatever filaments you want and um, you know other software like Repetier then it is definitely a pretty solid um, you know little printer to get you kind of rock and rolling with it all so on that note I will end the video if you have any other questions for me in regards to the printer um, feel free to comment down below my 3d printing videos uh, specifically about the DaVinci um, they're doing really good so um, I'm trying my best to kind of do definitely more of them and um, respond back as much as I can. You guys have been great when it comes to responding back to each other, though, for, like, the flashing tutorial uh, video because I haven't really gotten around. I've been busy, so I haven't gotten around to answer all of the comments that I get on there. So, um, yeah, hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Dope Swanner, and I'm out. Peace, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.